COVID uh, swept through the office last week. We got a little bit cocky. We knew that uh, COVID was on the rise. I've been reporting it uh, for, I don't know, the past month or so. Um, deaths are still 600 people a week. Just to put that in perspective, about 90 people a week prior to uh, COVID. I don't know what the numbers have been in the past year or two. But prior to COVID, about 90 people a week generally um, in this country on an annual basis would die of the flu. And right now we're at 600 a week. Now, we've had uh, times where it's been literally over 10,000, 14,000 in this country uh, dying of COVID on a weekly basis. It's still out there. Um, I know for myself, I was waiting for a COVID booster to show up and they just announced it yesterday so um get this one if you can uh, actually it's moving the fda is looking to sort of change this into like a, an annual thing like the flu they are you know like they do with the flu they guess what strain is going to be prominent and then they release the flu vaccine uh they're attempting to do something like this with covid in terms of the different strains but um you know, probably good practice. Somebody's um, traveling uh, out of the office. They're going to an event or something like that. They come back to have the mask for a day or two. But uh, live and learn. I'm going to get this booster in a month. In the meantime, the you know, the fact is, is that like um, for a couple of days, I was not testing positive. So I thought maybe I didn't have it. I wasn't feeling great. So but I wore a mask. I went out. If I went out, I tried to not go to places. If I went to any places, I made sure it was like a spread out situation and I wore a mask. The uh, sense that now you're a weirdo if you wear a mask is pretty uh, pre prevalent. And part of that reason is because we have idiots in this country who, for whatever reason, take issue with other people wearing masks. And, you know, I've been wearing a mask on the subway. I never stopped. If I'm going to be in a car, I wear a mask, it, you know, with a with a, like a cab. If I'm in my own car, I don't wear a mask. But if I'm going to be around any strangers, I wear a mask, not just for my benefit, but also you don't know what kind of diminished immunity somebody else might have. You don't know what existing um, uh, pro uh, health problems they may have. And so it just seems to be like common courtesy. There was a time in this country where it was uncontroversial to say like, you know what, you cover your mouth when you cough. Why do you do that? Well, because if you have germs, you don't wanna spread them on people, it's rude. And uh, we live in a different era and we haven't quite uh, gotten COVID under, uh, under wraps. And, and of course, there was so much pressure to get people back to work and being productive uh, that we pretended it didn't exist. Here is J.D. Vance. They're desperately looking for something to run on this fall. Uh, I should say a year from this fall. Because the Republican Party knows, broadly speaking, it's in trouble. Um, Joe Biden may be old, but people don't like Republicans. Here's J.D. Vance trying to create a straw man. All of us have lived through the failed experiment of mass mandatory masking. Today, I want to ensure that we do not subject the American people to this tyranny, in, for, this tyranny again for the sake of nothing. We've recently seen a seasonal uptick of COVID cases across the country. This is not something to worry about. I don't like this fact, but COVID is here to stay. Seasonal upticks in a respiratory virus are exactly to be expected. They shouldn't cause panic from our leadership or from our country, and they shouldn't cause us to reimpose a policy that has failed time and time again. Many are now calling to bring back mask mandates and regulate social gatherings. I've heard some of my friends on the opposite side of the aisle say that no one is trying to do this, but let's just recapture and summarize the last couple of weeks. In August, Lionsgate Studio asked its employees to wear masks at their filming facility. Last week, Kaiser Permanente reimposed the requirement for staff and visitors to wear masks at its Santa Rosa, California facility. Schools such as Morris Brown College in Atlanta and even local public schools here in the D.C. area have reimposed 
impose mask mandates. Now, it's not just that masks, according to randomized controlled studies, do no good. It's that they can actively cause harm. We know that a generation of school children have suffered significant speech and developmental disabilities because this country panicked instead of using its brain and forced toddlers and small children to wear masks. We cannot return to the failed policies of the COVID pandemic. I'm not mad that we screwed up. I made mistakes. Many people in this body made mistakes. What I do think that we should avoid is repeating the mistakes in 2023. Let's learn from the mistakes that we made instead of just doubling down on them. This policy does not set anything for an unlimited period of time. It says that for the next 15 months, the government can't force you to wear a mask on planes, on public transit, or in public schools. Taxpayer dollars cannot be used to force and enforce a mandate against our people. It's not setting a policy that we cannot deal with pandemics in the future. If something else comes, God forbid, then let this body deal with it at this time. But now let's learn the message, let's heed the message from the American people and let's learn the lessons of the past couple of years. Mandatory masking was a failure. It had costs for very little benefits and we shouldn't repeat it. Mr. President, as of in legislative session, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate. All right, and just to be clear here, see, he's pushing a law to say that we're going to handcuff the government response over the next 15 months. This is one of the most unbelievably irresponsible things I've ever heard of. And when he talks about like nobody's, nobody's talking about a mask mandate, there's an office, I think it's in Venice, California, at Lionsgate, that uh, because there was an outbreak there, told their employees to wear masks. My bet is that's over already. Kaiser Permanente, a hospital company, imposed one because there was probably an outbreak there. I got news for you. The idea that I wouldn't say, like, if we, you guys got to come back to work, but no mask mandate, that's just insane. Yeah, the act that he was pushing there is called the Freedom to Breathe Act, is what... First of all, all his stuff, too, was BS. Mask mandates may not work because a-holes like J.D. Vance encourage people to, to flout them or that people didn't put them on correctly. But masks are effective. Are there some masks that have been manufactured that apparently... Um, back in the day were toxic, very possibly, just like every other product that we've had in this country as an example of a company cutting corners. But um, the idea that we would handcuff government without knowing, like just the idea that we at any time, why not just take a random period of time and say for the next 15 months, the government cannot uh, advocate any masking. Maybe we have an Ebola outbreak. Nah. I mean, it's just insane. But this is the way that they're looking uh, to, to begin to gin up some electoral enthusiasm. Um, we'll talk a little bit later. I guess um, Ron DeSantis has gone back to uh, transphobia uh, to help his flagging campaign. That might work in the, new year, in the uh, Republican primary, but I don't think anywhere else. All right, we're going to take a, a quick break in a moment, and then we're going to be talking to uh, Marion Schlotterbeck, professor of history at University of California, Davis, on yesterday's 50th anniversary of the coup that took out Salvador Allende, uh, U.S.-assisted coup, and all that could have been at that time. Um, Uh, Goober says on the IM, from now until after the election. Sounds legit. Exactly. Long as Joe Biden's the president, no mask mandate. But if we need one later. Maybe no masks again. Yeah, a uh, long time, first time uh, IMs. Maybe no masks during surgery, too. <laughs> and you know what? No masks when you're working on anything like uh, if you're, you're, you're uh, sanding anything. Tell your lungs to buck up, idiots. <laughs> 